this is Balaji welcome back to the channel today let us try to understand how to pivot data in SQL for this let's try solving this problem this was asked in a bus business analyst uh, round interview round at a famous fintech company uh, the question goes like this consider you have the bank transaction details of five users they can either credit money that is deposit or debit money that is with withdraw write a query to give the current balance of each user we have a table named transactions and we have five columns user id transaction id date transaction and amount the transaction column has either credit or debit as the values and the output expected here would be the user id the credit total credit of the user total debit of the user and the net balance so if you check uh, this table user id 1 has a credit of 10 a credit of 15 and a debit of 10 and therefore the net balance right now would be 25 minus 10 that is 15 so let's try writing the query <coughs> so yes i already have some data put up here that is on the right uh, let's write the query so pivoting essentially is the is a method where the uh, a variable or a metric is grouped by and the rest of them are aggregated so here we're going to group it by the user id and let's write down a case statement case when transaction equals credit then amount and let's sum this up as so here let us put a lower function this essentially helps us uh, uh, bring down everything to lower caps and then evaluate if both of them are matching and therefore you are, you are not going to lose data if in case everything or any of the data is in ca caps lock on so we have the credit data let's get the same thing done for debit and let's align it so given we have grouped we have summed uh, these two let me just change this given that we are aggregating these two columns we will have to group it by <coughs> the pivoted column So yeah, here is the data. So now we would need credit minus debit as the amount. So let's put this as a CTE with consolidated as. So this is the name I'm giving my CTE, and let me put it in the parenthesis. Select all from consolidated. So yeah, we have the output. So what do we need? User ID, credits, debits, credit minus, debit as balance. Yeah, so credit minus debit as balance. So we have the balance. So this is how we get the <coughs> pivoted data but say for example uh, i have another case here so yeah i comment a part of it and run this <coughs> once again uh, so here credits we have our, uh, an output but debits have a, a value as null <coughs> so when the balance column takes the difference between the two it's null because it, this is an integer and there's a null value and you cannot take a difference of this so and thus it's a null output and this is incorrect so what do we do 
so that's when you use if null so what this does is it's going to replace a null value with zero if in case there's a null value encountered so yes if there's a null value it's going to replace it with a zero and 70 minus 0 is 0 sorry 70 and 30 minus 0 is 30 and thus this is how you use uh, how this is how you pivot on mysql thank you